Hi there, welcome to Marcus Picks. I'm Marcus and I'm going to be reviewing the Miticon Zhongi Speedmaster 50mm 0.95. That is unbelievable. And then I'll be giving it away. I'll be giving it away for free for somebody just because I'm a cool guy. Look at this thing. Look at the lens. This is the case that it comes in. It's a leather case. Who manufactures lenses in leather cases? And look at this thing. The presentation is pretty darn amazing. And the thing is heavy. This thing is, weighs a ton because it's solid metal and glass. There's no plastic other than the lens cap. It's an $800 lens. This thing is so heavy duty. It's like a brick. This thing weighs a ton. It's a 50 millimeter, which for me is the perfect length of lens for shooting just about anything. Like for example, Here's a camera that I have. It's a four thousand dollar camera. It's a pot. I wanted a, I like to travel small and lightweight. This is a Sony RX One R, full frame camera. Picture quality is amazing, uh, but it's got a thirty five millimeter stuck to it. So if I'm sitting at a restaurant trying to take a, a portrait of somebody. The face is, becomes moon face because of the distortion of the 35. So for me, 50 millimeter is the perfect lens. So when I heard they had a 50 millimeter F0.95, I was like, oh my God, that's the lens I got to get. And I got it. I got two of them. One for me, one for you. And I'm going to give it away later. But I'm going to do a review of this for Thinkers. First of all, this lens is not for everybody. It's a manual lens. So if you're in autofocus, <laughs> This isn't for you. This takes some effort. You really got to know what you're doing to work a lens like this because when you're dealing at, you know, if you're doing it normal f-stops, that's fine. But when you're at f.95, the end of the eyelash is in focus and the eyeball is out of focus. It's that critical. I mean, you've got like this much space to play with. And if the person is moving, you know, you've got somebody who's like just kind of moving around or leaning, whatever, you're going to be out of focus. You have to, if to, to take a picture of a person with that lens at 0.95, you got to go, stop. Don't move. That's, <laughs> that's how you gotta be. You gotta you get all these few things that are not moving. Um, anyway, it's a it's an amazing lens. It's really heavy duty built. At 0.95, it's not super sharp, but that actually might help you when you're doing portraits because it adds kind of that smoothness, that skin smoothing effect from being a little bit soft. It has quite a bit of noticeable chromatic aberration, but again, it adds to the magic of the whole thing. It's a magical lens. It's fun. It's it's not for everybody. That's what I'm saying. This is not for everybody. But if you like the look that it gives you, it's it's a fun lens. It's a fun. That's the best way I think I can put it. It's a fun lens. It might not be the only lens you'll ever use, but, and it could be, it could be if you really know what you're doing, but it's, it's really heavy. I mean, this thing is heavy and that's another reason I'm giving away probably my brand new Canon 85 1.2. This thing is way too heavy and bulky for me. I like small, lightweight stuff. Um, which is because that's what I do. I, I travel a lot. On, I do a lot of outdoor flash photography on location, in exotic places like in the middle of the desert or top of a volcano or in the jungle, you know, and I, I, don't, I just can't carry all this big, heavy stuff. But I like gear. Like, as you can see, I have all this. I'm doing a thing on uh, soft boxes. So I buy a lot of stuff just so I can try them all out. I pick a couple and the rest of them, I just give them away because I can. I like to help the people who can't afford this stuff normally. And it makes me feel good to help others because photography is such a really great, beautiful, fun art form. And I want to encourage people to do it. Here's some pictures I took with this lens. If you know what you're doing and you're pretty good at manual focus and you know how to dial in an f-stop real quick, you can get some pretty darn good stuff. I mean, the depth of field is amazing. It's buttery smooth. It's just like a telephoto. I mean, you get the same look just with this 50 millimeter. This is unbelievable. It's great. It's just so much fun to play with. And I'm going to be comparing it to some other lenses I have that are 1.1, 1.2, that all have the blurry background. Speaking of blurry background, I gotta say this. Bokeh is the big thing that everybody's using, that new word that everybody's using. It doesn't even mean blurry background. Bokeh means the quality of the look of the blurry back. In other words, those circles in the back, are they octagonal? Are they elliptical? Do they have sharp edges, soft edges? That's what bokeh means. It means the quality of the look. It does not mean actually blurry background. And that's what people are, that word's probably going to get bastardized so much. That's probably how it's just going to end up getting used. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling here. So let me know how you think I should give this lens away. What do you think? Leave your comments below. What do you think is the best way to get this to somebody who deserves it, not somebody who just wants a freebie and doesn't really appreciate it? What do you think is the best way for me to, to uh, pick the winner for this thing? 
And uh, I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff a lot more expensive than that. Like, for example, uh, I got this uh, Electrosonics. It's the $3,000 wireless microphone system. This is what the professionals use on movie sets. It's it, quality is great. I just it's just too many buttons to push. It's too complicated to use. So I'm probably be giving it away. But anyway, so I I just love gear. I just like buying stuff because it's fun. I love this stuff. I want to test it out. I want to see what the hype is all about. Everybody says this is what you got to get. So I get it and I try it out and then I find out eh, it's all right. I mean it's whatever. Here you want it? <laughs> I like simple, small, lightweight, easy to use. Push of buttons, ready to go. Uh, manual focus is okay, that's not a big deal for me, but I like simple things. I don't like these bells and whistles on everything, it's like overkill. So I'm going to share my tips and tricks with you in my channel, how to keep things simple, lightweight, and small, and fast, just so you can get your shots in the middle of nowhere, and not have to carry all this big, giant, heavy stuff with you. Subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends about it. Anybody that you know that is into photography, tell them about it. Get them over here. Let's have some fun. All right, my name is Marcus. Stay tuned for a whole bunch of really cool photography videos coming up.